A startup company right here in San Antonio wants to save the solar industry millions of dollars. They're trying to do that by developing an electric autonomous tractor, meaning that no one has to be inside the cab to operate it. Tiffany Huertas gives us a look at Renew Robotics prototypes in tonight's Tech SA. The operational expenses are a big piece of dealing with solar power, uh, utility scale solar farms. What we're doing is actually making robots that will provide maintenance for those solar farms. Renew Robotics launched in 2018 with the goal of using technology to promote renewable energy and improve the environment. They're currently developing completely autonomous electric tractors for mowing purposes and hopefully help expand the solar farm industry. With a company out it's something that CEO Tim Mattis says can be difficult at solar farms. It's complicated. There's all kinds of infrastructure in there. So what we do is we say, let's take this and let's make it really a technology type of product. We'll actually have it go out and mow in the evenings. It's less noise. It's all electric. Well, right now it's running an autonomous program following paths that are pre-programmed. So this is out here to simulate what it would be doing up and down uh, solar panel rows. Many solar farms right now are hiring people to mow. The new tractors will automate the task. Something Mattis says will cut costs by 30 to 50 percent. Mattis says in future tractors, they hope to have them do different tasks around solar farms, including spraying pesticides and herbicides, and the flexibility to attach different tools that will allow them to get rid of weeds. But what are solar farms? They are a large-scale solar installation where panels are used to harvest the sun's power. According to Solar Energy Industries Association, this year the U.S. solar market surpassed 2 million installations. That is a 23.6 kilowatt battery. This is a third of the power of a Tesla car in this lawnmower. Mattis says they will sell for about $50,000 and they'll be able to cut about 100 acres in a month. Mattis says they will also provide a software package that controls fleets of tractor robots. They will collect data and provide reports. We hope to hire as many as 180 people over the next five years. Target market is uh, industrial spaces, so solar farms, airports, uh, military bases, things that are controlled environments. Uh, we've still got you know a couple more years to go before we get them out uh, fully accepted into the public spaces on roads. But even after, after a couple of years, things like this will be able to go out into the public spaces as well. They are in the process of building five tractors. Two will be for testing and three have already been purchased. One of them is at a show in Utah called Solar Power International, an energy trade show. They hope to get many people interested. Myra, 